Hi, I'm Kurt Steinbrook with OurChurch.com, and this is your monthly SEO update, keeping you informed on what's going on in the search engines. This, this month, we're going to start with Google, because Google's been pretty active. Uh, if you watched the video last month, I said that there was a lot of fluctuations going on in the rankings, and it looked like there might be a Google update coming. Well, no sooner had I hit the publish button to send that article out when Google announced that, yes, indeed, they had released a new um, algorithm update. In fact, two. Uh, the first one that they released was a Panda update. This was a Panda 4.0. And if you're not familiar with Panda, Panda deals with the quality of web pages and websites. So they're looking at how thin is the content? Do you have duplicate content? Are you keyword stuffing? How many ads do you have on your page? And are, there, are they mostly at the top? And things like that. And they're trying to determine the quality of the pages so that that can affect the rankings because, of course, they want to uh, deliver quality results. Um, so they released this. And uh, this Panda update, not only did it try to deal with some of the, the newer uh, quality issues, but also they were trying to soften up the way Panda deals with sites. Basically, they'd found that a lot of sites that really didn't deserve to get hit by Panda had been hit previously. And so they wanted to find a way to be able to allow those sites to come back in the search rankings um, you know, with the, the quality sites that they had that had been mislabeled as non-quality sites. The other update that Google did was their payday loan update. Now, what the payday loan update is, is it deals with the particularly spammy niches. Uh, so these are things like payday loans, um, what, cheap pharmaceuticals, gambling, things like that. These niches that tend to get a lot of spam, and so they have to deal with them a little bit differently. So they released that update as well at the same time. And uh, probably doesn't affect most of you, just because you know, it, you're probably not in an extremely spammy niche. Uh, but if it does, then something to be watching for and see what your rankings have been doing. Um, in addition to these two updates, Google released a few new features. Uh, one of them is that they've created a way to be able to migrate the Google Plus branded pages with the Google Plus local pages. Because they've found that a lot of local organizations had branded pages instead of local pages, and, or both. And they didn't want them to have both, and they really thought it would be better if they had the local pages because then you get the benefits with the Google Map listings and all that. So they have now created a way to migrate the two and join the two together. Um, so if you have a branded page in your local organization, definitely want to look at migrating it over. Um, if you're with OurChurch.com, don't worry, we're taking care of that for you. In fact, most of you already had that taken care of because we've been dealing with um, bringing people over to, to Google Plus Local for a while now. Um, but if you don't have either, guess what? You need to. So go get yourself a Google Plus Local page because you're way behind the times. Um, so that's it for, oh, actually, no, there's one more thing that, that Google announced, that they are now uh, putting more videos into their Knowledge Graph Instant Answers. So their Instant Answers are, like, when you do a search, they're trying to be able to give you that data uh, or those answers without you necessarily having to act, even look at the search results. Um, so a lot of times those are at the very top of the results or over on the, the right side. Um, and so they've been collecting a lot of information to be able to give you those instant answers. And up until now, it's been all text and graphics, uh, pictures and things like that. Now they're starting to include video. So if you do video marketing, this is great for you. This may give you the ability to be able to jump ahead of competitors who aren't doing video marketing, but maybe they have a stronger site than you. Maybe they've been around longer or are able to do a little bit more as far as uh, the SEO for their site. You know, these results generally show up above all the search results. So you can vault ahead of them, um, and this is just a great opportunity for you. And even if you're already doing well, why not also get the video up there? So I highly encourage video marketing. If you're already doing it, just make sure that you're doing great work with those videos and that you're optimizing them. If you're not doing video marketing, you might want to think about it. And we can help you with that as well, actually. Um, so that's it for Google as far as their updates. However, we do have a Google related announcement, which is that Apple said, guess what? Google, we're dropping you. Uh, on the new OS X, uh, the Yosemite release that's supposed to come out next fall, Apple has announced that they are switching from Google to Bing uh, for that desktop search feature. So I don't know how much that's going to impact the search results. It should help uh, Bing as far as their market share. It might hurt Google a little bit, but I'm not exactly sure how much of the market share uh, 
is taken up by Apple and their desktop searches. Um, in related news, Apple also announced at the same time that they're adding DuckDuckGo to both the OS X Yosemite release and to the um, iOS 8 release. And they're going to basically offer it as a private search feature. Um, so privacy has become a really big topic for people, a real big concern, especially uh, with the news of, of the NSA snooping and with all the tracking that Google and Bing do. Um, and so people have been concerned about that. DuckDuckGo happens to be there and saying, guess what? We don't do any tracking. We don't track you at all. We don't save any information about you at all. So all of your searches are completely private. And not only does that mean that they don't track you, but it also means that if any government contacts them and says, we want to know what so-and-so has been searching about, they say, guess what? We don't know. We don't save that information, so we can't help you. So nobody can track you. And that's uh, you know really uh, something that's been that people have liked, that people are, are looking for. And so that we've actually seen, they've had about a 40% increase, a 40% growth over the last six months. Um, so they're growing, they're still very small, but they're growing. And they seem to have really uh, gotten in there at just the right time for the type of service that they offer. And they also then announced, this is a DuckDuckGo announcement, we don't have too many of those. Uh, they announced that they have released a new version of DuckDuckGo and they've kind of revamped the appearance, added several features. Um, so they have a lot of new search features like uh, local map searches. Um, they have recipe searches, which they actually just teamed up with a recipe company to be able to offer even more of those. Uh, weather search um, and some other different kinds of searches like that. They're also trying to improve their instant answers and they've done some work with that. And, um, you know, they're growing. Still small, but they're growing, and uh, they're, they're certainly trying to uh, be able to provide a more robust search experience for the people that are using them. Uh, so that's it as far as the, the search engine updates. There's one more thing to mention, which is that there was a survey that was released a couple of days ago that surveyed 288 people uh, that were either owners of small to medium-sized businesses or uh, local SEO people that worked with uh, small and medium-sized businesses. And they asked, what are the best marketing channels for you? And what brings in the, you know, the most traffic? What, what's the best uh, return on investment? And for both of those, uh, organic search optimization got the number one um, that brings in the most traffic and it's the best return on investment. Uh, Google Plus, uh, they were second and then Yahoo and Bing Local came a few spots down, usually about fourth or fifth, I believe. Um, so all of those together, though, made up a huge percentage of the traffic that these people were able to bring in and certainly had the best ROI. Um, now, here at OurChurch.com, with our local SEO, we actually do all of those. You know, our, our local SEO includes organic search engine optimization as well as dealing with the listings in Google and Yahoo and Bing and several other local listing sites. Um, if you're interested, we'd love to help you out with that. Um, but it's certainly something that if you have a local organization you want to be doing, whether it's with us or it's with uh, someone else. So that's what's been going on. Uh, just remember, we live in this internet age, and so it's important that you stay strong in the search engines so that you can achieve your mission online. And we're here to help you do that. God bless.